Uh, now, the uh, the next one we have is the uh, top five most expensive defects in a real estate transaction. Hmm. We're talking bad stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the house I had yesterday had a number of the bad <laughs> stuff. It was rough. Got, got actually, all the top five, maybe? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm still working on the reports. It's tough. As far as the top five most expensive defects during a real estate transaction, now this can vary. You know, obviously, you could have some freak thing going on with your drywall where you, you know, you got the Chinese drywall and you got to replace all the drywall in the house. That's very rare. Okay. Um, but these, the top five that I have are things that we see semi regularly. Okay. Uh, number one, roof. So a roof these days is not like a roof it was. I mean, you go back 10 years ago, a roof was six to eight thousand bucks. Right. right. Today, 25, 30, 30 right. yeah, if not more than that. Yeah, I think I think that I um, uh, we were we were speaking with our a uh, couple of our guys that we refer out um, resistant exteriors. I know that we, we did our house probably I'm going to say 15 years ago, um, and I think our, our roof cost about sixty six hundred dollars. I think that same roof is probably twenty six twenty eight thousand dollars right that now. Crazy. Well, it's and it's yeah. the price. It's not so much the labor's gone up; it's the fact that the materials that they're the getting have gone up. Um, they, they've been in a shortfall for a while, and it just the uh, petroleum product, right? So it, you got asphalt mm -hmm. and um, yeah. And I mean, it's super nice to get it done, but it is expen a lot more expensive. There's a lot of sticker shock with uh, yeah. with homeowners. Well, and labor labor is uh, a, a very expensive part of it nowadays because there's not enough contractors out there to do the work. 100%. You know, yeah, hundred uh, percent. Dustin, yeah, he just had his done, and it was twenty nine thousand bucks, uh, and that was uh, the shingles, and he had the sheathing done though. He had the sheathing redone because he had all the mold in the attic and stuff. But was it Dustin? Was the twenty nine thousand dollars including your uh, sun tube that you had? Answer me the on sol the, the solar tube. Yeah, those are nice. <laughs> Nice man. Who, if you're looking, if you're looking to get natural light into a space, sun tubes are the way to go. Uh, skylights leak. They will if they're not leaking now. They will leak. So, um, <laughs> they consider sun tubes great option. If sun tubes, definitely the way to go. Uh, and so, roof is number one. Uh, number two, I have foundation. Yep. Um, foundation repairs. I mean, you can get a situation where you just have a small section of wall where it's five thousand bucks, but you can also get the whole basement. And like this guy's got two and a half inch bulge. He's going to have to excavate. Um, he's going to have, he's got damage block, shearing block, all kinds of other issues. So there you're looking at 25, 30 or more thousand dollars, you know? And so foundation repairs can be very, very expensive. Number three in the uh, top five um, uh, most expensive repairs. What we're looking at there is the sewer lateral. So the sewer lateral is the pipe that runs from your house out to the street uh, that carries all your yuck, yuck water and stuff. Um, and I, man, I tell you, I mean, we do a, a, a quite a few of them recently um, and man, so many problems with them. Um, and if, if uh, I mean, some of them have been able to be, ground out and they can get a little bit of life out of it yet but other times we come in the pipe is crushed and and that we why the water tree roots yeah tree roots uh just age i mean right. usually in an older home um you know we can have all kinds of issues with that and stuff and then when we get into the the sewer pipe they're made out of clay they're made out of cast iron they're made out of other types of materials the newer ones are made out of pv uh, cpvc or not a cpvc out of pvc and stuff and they they last a lot longer perform better and they're just planned better you know um but the materials when you make it out of clay and cast iron they're just going to break down over time it just uh you're putting in a material that's going to break down over time into uh the ground which is not a good idea it costs you know it the i've heard people pay as little as eight thousand bucks and as much as twenty thousand dollars to have their front yard dug up and have the sewer lateral replaced very expensive um and definitely something to consider having inspected when you have when you're purchasing the home uh the next thing is siding so uh the siding if you have wood siding you can have a ton of rot and that can be crazy expensive to fix um if you had certain teeth siding where you had the fiber cement board issues you know i mean i had a house 1.2 million dollar house down in Pewaukee, you know, and uh, fiber cement. They the, it was popping off the wall, so they went and nailed all the corners down because it was pulling away, and it all of it cracked. Oh jeez! So they had to replace all the siding. I mean, you're looking at a. Hundred and fifty thousand bucks, you know, on that house. It's hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars just in siding. Do you have a Do you have a favorite? Um, uh a favorite siding that you like? Vinyl siding, completely, yeah. dude. Oh my gosh. By f I very rarely see problems with vinyl siding. Very rarely. And even if I do, you know what? You can pop it up. You can get the little tool. You pop it out. You lift up the one above it. You take the screws out. You put the new piece in. Snap, snap, pop, pop, and yeah, it's fixed. Yeah, the only the only issue that I would ever see with vinyl siding would be 
uh, age, right? So if it's been faded in the sun, it's hard to match the original siding color to that. That would why you buy light colors. <laughs> <laughs> buy white, people. Buy white. Um, but you can. Oh, but the nice thing with vinyl siding, it can be painted too. Sure. You know, as long as you use the right paint and power wash. And Just power gotta be, wash gotta be careful, but you can power wash. Yeah. Yep. We've done that with a few of our homes. Uh, power wash. Um, just to make sure that it's cleaned up and nice because sometimes if, on that north side, you'll, you'll, a lot of times you'll get a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of yeah, growth. Algae. Algae yep. growth, yep. right. Yeah, and, and algae is a common thing on the north side of the house. You can clean it off pretty easily. But also you don't want to put your, um, yeah, you can actually paint vinyl siding. But with the um, uh, vinyl siding, you never want to put your gas grill up against your house. No. Okay, it will melt. The, <laughs> it will melt it badly. Now, granted, if you do make that mistake, you can replace those sections. But always best whenever you're, if you're residing with vinyl siding, buy a couple of, whatever kind of siding you're doing. Buy a couple extra buy pieces, extra. put it up in the attic. Same with tile, if you're tiling a floor. Yeah, exactly. Backsplash, Have, whatever. Make buy sure an extra, extra 10%, put it up in the attic, keep it in the basement, you know. Yeah, vinyl siding is uh, by far my favorite. It's also the cheapest. You know, kind of siding you can do. Um, it's easy uh, to install. You know, I, I've gone on new build stuff where I've seen guys that are building the brand new house next door. It's one dude putting up the vinyl siding on the whole house, just all by himself. You know, I'm like, wow, that's pretty crazy. You know, but yeah, you find techniques and methods to do it. So that's great. Uh, so siding is uh, number four, uh, and that could be anywhere from twenty to hundred thousand dollars, depending on how much you need and what has to be done. Um, and the last one in our top five most expensive defects is septic systems. So when you're talking about, we talked, we touched on it briefly with the septic contingency. Um, but if your septic system is not sized appropriately to your home. You're talking about excavating in the backyard, taking out the old system, putting in a new system. Right. Does it percolate out? Do I have to put a leach field in, or do I have to put a mound system in? And, and the the um, requirements in order for a property to percolate out these days is a lot more tight than what it used to be. So most people are going to put in mound systems. Um, and a mound system, just for the mound with the materials and stuff like that, you're talking 20000 bucks. And that's not even talking piping it up to your house or none of that stuff. Um, and so septic systems is number five. So that's your top five most expensive defects that we come across on a regular basis. And these are fairly common things. Not crazy to see these things happening. Hey, thanks for tuning in today, you guys. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to know when we put out the next one, give me a bell notification. It's a little bell on the bottom right-hand side. And subscribe. Uh, you want to know when I'm coming out with new stuff or whatever. You want to be able to uh, check us out and be alerted to new video content coming your way. Um, subscribe button's really the way to go. Thanks again for tuning in, you guys. Remember, the better you take care of your house, better it's going to take care of you. Have a good one.